All right, so here is the full overview on how I edit my videos using CapCut. So first off, you'll see here I have the intro clip, which is this one I inserted. And then I also inserted this secondary clip right here, which is the full video tour. None of these have been edited, and to add them in, you just hit the little plus on the, the white plus on the right-hand side, and you can add them in. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this like this to actually cut this first part to when I first start talking. So if I move it over, you'll see right there is where I start talking. But I like to have a little intro that's nice and quick. So what I did here is I showed the home, and then I actually start talking like right, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it and then go to the bottom left and hit split. So now these are two different clips. And what I'm doing here is I'm zooming in. So I pinch, zoomed in just so these clips are bigger. I now press this one, which is just the quick until I start speaking. I'm going to then go volume and mute go all the way down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it again, hit speed, and make it go two times. So now when you play it, you'll see it goes super quick and quiet and then to me talking. It'll look much better once it's exported, but you'll get the point. So it's just boom, and then right to me talking. And then once I'm done talking, is, let's check it out, right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit split again and leave this clip as normal. I'm not gonna fast forward it, not gonna change anything, and leave it. But now this clip is me walking all the way to the door and then knocking on the door. And then Frosi answers it, and then she talks. So right before she talks, I'm going to split it. So now this clip here of me walking up to the door, I'm going to mute it. And then I'm going to fast forward it to three times speed. I might even do four times. Let's see how boring it is. So I'm probably going to do four times speed. The reason why is I just think that it took a little too long to actually get to the home. So let's see. Perfect. So now... It is like blurry and stuff just because it's not exported, so don't worry about that. Don't think your quality sucks. It's just when you're in the app editing, it does that. And then Frosty here talks, so you can see, hey, I'm Ask Frosty, come check out my listing. And she finishes right there. And I can just tell, you can listen, but I can just tell by, um, there we go. So then once again, I'm going to mute the one where she isn't talking. And now this gets a little tricky. This is actually good. I use this video as an example. So this next clip I have walking into the home, but then I'm gonna split it and cut off the end because then I need to pair it with the other clip. You see here, I did a different clip without her in it. So now I need to pair it together. The reason why is I actually forgot and just messed up like getting the full clip with her. So that I need to now patch these together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now try and match these together. So see, this is that first clip. Now this is the second clip. Now this is a good example of when I mess up because sometimes I'll film an entire home and then when I go upstairs, instead of going and showing the primary bedroom first, I show or I mess up and show a different room or it doesn't look good. Well, you can simply just start again and then patch the clips together. Because look at this. This is one clip and this is another clip. Now watch. If we go slowly, look at how smooth I just was able to do that without even actually trying. So now I'm going to actually make this one a little longer to so right there and try and match up the fireplace. If you look at that, that was pretty clean, right? You can obviously tell, um, but I mean, when it's fast forward, it's hard to tell. So I'm gonna go here, fast forward this to three times, and then I'm gonna fast forward this whole entire clip to three times as well. The reason why I do that is that now this whole clip that's the full home tour is three times speed, and then I'm gonna go in and split the clips up again, but make some slow and some more quick. So let's watch again. So fast, 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 and you see you could barely tell that clip change because when it's fast forward, it's nice and quick. I also forgot to mute this. There we go, so no more sound. All right, so let's watch it. Boom, and then cool. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make these slow now, right? I'm gonna go and I want this right here where it kind of gives a cool overview to be slow. So I split it and then I go into about there. That's, and then I split again. So that little clip is what I want to be one time speed. So I'm going to go to speed one times. Now I'm going to zoom out. Every time I do this, I'm just zooming in, zooming out with my fingers. I just pinch it. So then fast, slow, and fast to the kitchen. Boom. Right here is where I want to go slow. I'm going to go again, split that clip. Let's go slow until there. Split again, zoom in, click it. One time speed. 
sweet and now let's see i went outside show the backyard this right here is going to be a slow one until right there showing the yard just a really quick one one time speed and now i'm just moving my finger i go in the house through the kitchen dining room be a quick one time speed once again i'm just finding the important things and going one times and then I walk all the way through the house and then into primary suite. So now because there's not much really special about this, I'm just going to go two times speed. Let's see. So fast. Yeah, let's go two times speed until right there. Just because I don't want to go too slow because it's kind of boring, but I want people to get the gist of it. So a little slow and then the bathroom. What I'm going to do, just because the bathroom isn't anything crazy about it, I'm just going to make the entire clip just two times speed. So that's not, like I said, too slow, but also it's not too fast. So watch. It goes into the bathroom, focuses, it's slower, and then boom, we're out of there three times speed. And then it goes all the way upstairs. And then it goes into here. So now when I get up here, this clip here, I'm going to want slow. I'll make it one times. But now watch what I'm gonna do. I found that boring to get up there. So this clip here, starting all the way back in the primary closet, I'm gonna make five times. It's gonna be super quick. It's gonna be very choppy when you before you export it, but cue all the way. And then I'm actually gonna slow down this right here, give a quick little slow motion, because that was kind of cool. Staircase, very small. Let's see, one times. Okay, so now let's watch that. So it shows the primary suite, and then super quick, quickly shows the stairs, and then boom, we're upstairs, shows the family room, and then it goes quick again, shows all these rooms. And because this is so quick, I'm gonna make all this two times speed. So two times speed, going in here, going in here, going in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna make that entire clip two times speed. Once again, just because like if there was staging in there, I'd probably do the same thing I did on the uh, lower level where it's like three times and one times. But the reason why is I don't want a slow motion on an empty room. It's kind of boring. So see here, it's two times. It's still slow and it's still fast, but it's also slow enough people get the idea. But as you can tell, there's nothing special to focus on. And then boom, three times speed all the way to this side. That was actually even a little too slow. Just boring, right? It's boring filler. Let's make that four times. Let's just do five times. So five times across, and then that's way too quick. So the rest of this clip, because I go in and out quickly of bedrooms, I'm just gonna go two times and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, two times, boom, shows that room quick, shows that room, cool. And then I think I ended off here, cool. And then what I always like to do is just the last like little zoom in I do, I don't know, I just randomly do that. I'm gonna make it one times, kind of just ends it off. And then CapCut has their little thing here, you just delete it, cool. Right, so now let's watch it over. So boom, super quick. Boom, and then fast. See, you can barely see that cut, and then boom, slow motion shows that. Kitchen, slow motion shows that. Super quick into the backyard, shows that. Back inside, all the way through, dining room through this space, into the primary, somewhat slow, shows the bathroom, and we head straight into the closet, we zip all the way upstairs, quick show the staircase, and then back upstairs. So you guys get the point, right? Cutting the clips, putting them together. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, add in the auto captions. So I go here, I go text on the bottom, auto captions. And then I'm gonna hit original sound. Sometimes, or if you do a voiceover, that's where you talk. So voiceover really quick. Let's say I wasn't talking in, in this. You simply go down to audio and then, <coughs> sorry, hit voiceover. And then I can just tap and hold that and record my voice. That's where the video is where I'm talking in it. I'll actually probably talk in this one. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I won't do it. But here I'll then say, uh, hey, welcome into this like absolutely stunning home. Right away, you have this living room with the fireplace. And look at just how open concept this main space is. And beside that, you have the unique kitchen. And just off the kitchen, you can head outside. You, you guys see my videos where I do that. 
So that's where you can do the voiceover. Um, so text, auto captions, auto captions, and then original sound, which is the original audio, and then hit start. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. And then it's just gonna take a little bit. All right, so now, auto captions right here. <clears throat> so if you look at the auto captions, they're all over the place, they don't look cool. So what I do is I click it and then hit batch edit. What I like to do is put one per line, but you can literally put as many as you want. So I'm just clicking it and then I'm hitting um, enter. So boom, enter. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting one in each line. So now, this is what it looks like. So you see where these are long sentences? Well, these ones are just words. So I'm gonna continue to do that. So. Okay, so this is where you guys sometimes edit it. Because here it's ask grossy. Okay? So sometimes it doesn't pick up what you actually say, so you gotta edit that. All right. So what I did, I just edited the text, made it look all nice. Now I'm gonna go here, edit button in the top right of the screen. I'm gonna to go to style. I'm gonna change it to the font I use. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my fingers and pinch it to make it bigger. <coughs> oh wow, sorry guys, I got some in my throat. All right, so then I'm gonna put it in the middle and a little higher. You don't wanna put, do not put it down here. If you put it down here, the text or the description on Instagram and TikTok, it'll cover it. So make sure it's, that it's small enough and it's in the center, but not covering your face. And that does all of them. Okay? So now let's watch that. Boom, just like that. Now I want to change, you guys, when I do 700,000, I just want to change the color, so I hit the edit button top right of that bubble. Now I'm going to take off apply to auto uh, to auto captions. I'm going to click off because if it, if I didn't do that, it would apply to all of them, just like it has been. Where I just want this one green, so I'm going to change it to green, and then I'm going to go to where it starts. See that white line on the bottom, seven hundred thousand. I'm going to line that up. Hit add text. And I'm going to add the money sign. Drag that down, and then I'm gonna go slide it to the end of 700,000, click it, split it, delete that side. Now, that's what it looks like. Boom, and you'll see there, <coughs> it says check it out, and it doesn't say let's, then I would just add in let's check it out. Um, super easy. But anyways, you guys can get that, then it's, Hey, ask Rosie here, come and check out my listing. And then, that's it. You know, sometimes I'll add a voiceover in, like I said, but that is absolutely it. You guys get the whole point of it, so let's watch it. And there's a the whole tour. So you guys get it, you can see all the cuts. And then when you save it in the top right, hit 1080p, slide it to 2K, 4K, <coughs> and then frame rate, slide it all the way to 60, and then hit the top right save button. I'm not gonna do that for right now. Oh, and then smart uh, HDR, have that clicked on. I'm not gonna do it now because I am gonna add a voiceover. Once again, voiceover is just where you hold down the microphone button and you talk over it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope this is helpful. And if you guys have any questions, be sure to reach out.